This musical follows John Adams, Benjamin Franklin, and Thomas Jefferson. The trio is trying to convince members of the Second Continental Congress to vote for independence from the British monarchy. Today, three cast members are singing a song from 1776 called The Egg. 24-year-old Robert Kalman of Tenafly plays Thomas Jefferson. 19-year-old Christopher Giorgetti of Nutley plays Ben Franklin. And 21-year-old Kevin Melendez of West New York plays John Adams. Jack Bender of New Brunswick is the associate musical director of this summer musical in Newark. Guys, have a good time. I'm stepping off. <laughs> it's a masterpiece, I say. They will cheer every word, every letter. I wish I felt that way. I believe I can put it better. Now that attend as friend to friend, a declaration committee for us I see immortality in Philadelphia city a farmer a lawyer and a sage a bit gouty in the leg you know it's quite bizarre to think that here we are Playing midwives to an egg. Egg? What egg? America, the birth of a new nation. If only we could be sure of what kind of a bird it's going to be. Tom's got a point. What sort of bird shall we choose as the symbol of our new America? Hmm. The eagle. The dove. The turkey. The eagle. The dove. The eagle. The eagle. The turkey. The eagle is a majestic bird. The eagle is a scavenger, a thief, a coward, and the symbol of more than ten centuries of European mischief. And the turkey? A truly noble bird. A native of America. A source of sustenance to our settlers, and an incredibly brave fellow who would not flinch from attacking a regiment of Englishmen single-handedly. Therefore, the national bird of America is going to be... The eagle. The, the eagle. eagle. We're waiting for the chirp, chirp, chirp of an eaglet being born. Waiting for the chirp, chirp, chirp on this humid Monday morning in this congressional incubator. God knows the temperature's hot enough to hatch a stone, let alone an egg. We're waiting for the scratch, scratch, scratch of that tiny little fellow waiting for the egg to hatch on this humid monday morning in this congressional incubator god knows the temperature's hot enough to hatch a stone but will it hatch an egg oh i tell you the declaration will be a triumph i tell you a triumph if i was ever sure of anything i'm sure of that a triumph and if it's not We've still got four days left to think of something else. The eagle's going to crack the shell of the egg that England laid. Yes, sir, we can tell, tell, tell on this humid Monday morning in this congressional incubator. And just as Tom here is written, though the shell may belong to Great Britain, the eagle inside belongs to us and just as tom here has written we say to hell with great britain the eagle inside belongs to us very nice i am so impressed with the talent on our stage today congratulations gentlemen you're very good at what you do Thank now you what do you all want to add to the description i gave people about this show what do you want to tell them well, uh, like you had said, it is about the the drafting and the approval of the const of the not the constitution, the Declaration of Independence. It's you know, all those papers look alike. <laughs> 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 but um, what's important about this show is that it gives it gives the audience a. a a three-dimensional portrait of the characters. Usually, when we're in school, we learn about uh, we learn about Benjamin Franklin and Thomas Jefferson, and especially George Washington as these mythic characters that are almost almost like modern-day Superman almost. And the show 
brings a, a certain humanity to them. It shows that they were people too. They were men. They were under tremendous amounts of stress to write this constant the, the, again constant declaration. <laughs> declaration. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a big part of our history, the Constitution, yes. so we understand. Yeah. The Declaration. Uh, they didn't just pop this out in one day. It took a long, long time and under a great deal of stress. And do you all appreciate that now, having done this production? Oh, yes, yes, definitely. Very much yes. so. Very much is your, so. this your first time performing at NJ Pack? This is my first time. Your first time. My first time. <laughs> <laughs> it's my fourth time. Performing your fourth time, and you just turned 21 too, didn't you? Yes, so happy I did. birthday! Thank you very much. <laughs> Where are your costumes, by the way? Uh, we're getting fitted for them today at two thirty. We sorry we couldn't bring our costumes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we get to see you as real men outside of them. If you come to NJ Pack, you'll see us in <laughs> yes. costume. We assure you. <laughs> I bet you're excited about the audience that's going to come out and see you on stage. Very yes, much, definitely. Is sure. that exciting or nerve wracking or a little of both? A little of both. A little of both. A little of both. But it's ex it's exciting. The rush is yeah. Yeah. It's, it's incredible. It's a very powerful show. It's it's very uh, the audience is in for a wonderful wonderful. And we've been pre experience. preparing a great deal. So I think I think by the time that uh, we open on the 18th, we'll be more than prepared. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, for an audience. We also have women represented in this show. As we said, 29 actors of all different backgrounds, mm -hmm. right? Correct? Yes. So it's a diverse show. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the women's involvement. Uh, <laughs> There's only two. I had to ask that. <laughs> There's two of them. The character of Abigail Adams is played by Stephanie Regina, and the character of Martha Jefferson, his wife, is played by Jennifer Kajowski. Um, Abigail Adams was an incredible influ influence on John Adams' life and contributed many things to the writing of the of the Declaration. So the great woman behind the oh, great the man great goes man. way back in Very history. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you all think of the program at NJ Pack? We have done shows before on it and it's fabulous. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely yeah. incredible experience. It, it gives it gives the the youth of New Jersey the opportunity to work in a completely professional environment in, in the Victoria Theatre at the New Jersey Performing Arts Center with with uh, designers from New York, with a Broadway director, with it's just absolutely incredible. Yeah. Our director Cynthia Merrill is a joy to work with. Um, she uses her knowledge and her past experiences to help us grow as actors and I feel I've benefited and we've all benefited. Mm -hmm. She I, I love working with her. I, I can't really say more than that. <laughs> what would you like to add, Robert? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm the oldest person in the cast. I'm 24 years old. Uh, <laughs> Gee, you're real yeah. old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it, it, it is a youth theater, and um, <laughs> I have done some professional and semi-professional work, and I'll, I'll say that this is the most intense uh, rehearsal process and period that I've ever had. Yeah. Um, mm. And what would you all like to say about Jack? We can't let him go here. Bender, one of, one of the great musical geniuses. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no one knows it yet, but all oh, hail Jack. Watch. He, 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 wrote, uh, he wrote the music, and he wrote the music for a new show that we're also doing at the same time as 1776 called Midnight Madness. It's a world premiere of a, of a musical based on uh, Shakespeare's a Midsummer Night's Dream that's going to be running from August 1st to August 3rd. It's gonna and be I'm going to talk about that with Jeff Norman in just a moment. So mm -hmm. thank you, guys. We appreciate it.